namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw ng ito. Patawarin po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Hello learners! Are you ready for some fun and exciting discussion today? So what are you waiting for? Come on and join me as we learn more about separating mixtures. I'm Ma'am Anna Cunha and welcome to Valenzuela Live Science 6. You already know the drill. Comment down your name and the name of your school. And you can freely use our comment box to ask some questions and for you to participate in our discussion. And please prepare your notebook, ball pen, and your self-learning module. Our today's lesson is based on the most essential learning competencies in Science 6. The uses and importance of the different methods of separating mixtures in our daily lives. And you should be able to explain the uses and importance of the different methods of separating mixtures in our daily lives. Different methods of separating mixtures are being used in our daily lives. Separating mixtures are done to make substances more useful. We do this because we know that some mixtures contain one or more useful substances or to identify what is in the mixture. It is important to be able to separate mixtures using the different methods such as decantation, Evaporation, sieving, filtration, magnetic separation, and we also have flotation, picking, distillation, chromatography, and scooping. When it comes to mixtures, the thing you should remember is that you start with some pieces of substances which you may combine. And then later on, you can do some techniques called physical separations to get back those pieces of substances again. The properties of the substances do not change in a mixture. And the method of separating mixture is as unique as the kind of mixtures you have. Although the apparatus and purpose behind each separation technique look different, they all rely on common principle. We can separate mixtures because that contain substances that have different physical properties. So now, let us discuss each method of separating mixture, their uses and importance. So we have decantation. It is frequently used to purify a liquid by separating it from a suspension of insoluble particles. The importance of decantation is to produce clean, decant, or remove the unwanted liquid from precipitate. And this process is very common for water purification and other types of purification process. Next is we have the evaporation. 
It is also used to concentrate liquid foods such as noodles and make condensed milk. The product of a process that removes water from milk. Pharmaceutical companies use evaporators to remove excess moisture from drugs, thus improving product stability. It's important is one of the most common real life example of it is drying of clothes under the sun. And it is also important in preparation of our common salt. Next is we have the sieving. This process is often used for sifting flour when baking. It is used in flour mill or at construction sites. In flour mill, impurities like husk and stones are removed from wheat. While in construction sites, the pebbles and stones are removed from sand by sieving. This process plays an important role in food industries, where sieves are used to prevent the contamination of the product by foreign bodies. Next is we have the filtration. It is used to separate insoluble solid particles from the liquid. Used to clean up river, streams, or other bodies of water. Used to separate brewed coffee from the grounds. High efficiently particulate air filters are used in air conditioners and vacuum cleaners. It is important to make our water safe to drink and some filters are also important because it can remove dust from the atmosphere. In our body, the kidneys, liver, and lungs serve as filters that helps to remove impurities and waste inside our body. Next is we have the magnets or magnetic separation. It is used to make a tight seal on the doors to refrigerators and freezers. It powers speakers, stereos, earphones, and televisions. Magnetic separation is also useful in mining iron as it is attracted to a magnet. It is important as magnets are used inside of the different appliances that we're using like TVs, speakers, and radios, and often used in generators and other kinds of motors. It is important as magnets were used in process industries to remove metal contaminants from product streams. Next is we have the picking. It is used to separate those mixtures where one of the component is in small quantity. It is also used to separate undesirable substances such as small pieces of stones from wheat and rice. It is important in taking out impurities in the products using our bare hands. And this method doesn't need any machinery for separating the unwanted products from the useful one. Next is we have the scooping process. It is used in picking up or moving something in the mixture using a scoop or spoon. It is important in removing substances or unwanted materials in a mixture. 
Next is the distillation process. It is used to separate the two liquids with different boiling points. It is also used to purify drinking water. Distillation is important in laboratories, wherein it is used regularly in chemical and pharmaceutical research and tests for quality of products. Nine, we have the flotation. It works for things that are less dense than another substance. It is usually used in mineral processing, paper recycling, and waste water treatment industries. This process is most widely used for extracting many minerals from their ores. And last, we have the chromatography. Chromatography is used by scientists for separating organic and inorganic compounds so that they can be analyzed and studied. It plays an important role in many pharmaceutical industries and also in the chemical and food industry. Chromatography can also ascertain organic acid levels in food to determine the food quality. All right! Did you understand our topic? If you enjoyed our discussion, just click the like and heart button below. And for us to test our understanding about the separating mixtures, let's have this activity. Let us identify what method of separating mixture is being described in each sentence. Choose the letter of the correct answer and type it in our comment box. Are you ready? Let's go! We have here question number one. It works for the things that are less dense than another substance and used in mineral processing, paper recycling, and waste water treatment. Is it A, chromatography, B, magnetic separation, or C, flotation? Five seconds. All right, the correct answer is letter C, flotation. Question number two. This process is used to separate brewed coffee from the grounds. Is it A, picking, B, distillation, or C, filtration? Comment down your answer. All right, the correct answer is letter C, filtration. Let's go now to question number three. It is useful in mining iron as it is attracted to a magnet. Is it A, magnetic separation, B, decantation, or C, scooping? Five seconds. Are you done? The correct answer is letter A, magnetic separation. For question number four, in floor mill, impurities like husk and stones are removed from wheat. 
While in construction sites, the pebbles and stones are removed from the sand by blank process. Is it A, evaporation, B, sieving, or C, filtration? Comment down your answer. All right. The answer is a letter B, sieving. And for our last question, it is used to produce a clean decant or remove the unwanted liquid from precipitate. Is it A, decantation, B, flotation, or C, chromatography? Five seconds. Comment down. Alright. The correct answer is letter A. Decantation. You did a great job. So now I think that this is the right time to accept some questions related to our topic. In our hashtag, Ask Your Science Teacher Time. So what are you waiting for? Comment down your questions. So we have here one question from our viewer. So let's see. Ma'am, why separating mixture is important in our daily life? Mixture are made of pure substances, and they are mixed with each other in a mixture. Sometimes, the pure substances are more important than the mixture. Thus, separation of substances is necessary to obtain pure substances from, for domestic purposes, industrial purposes, and research purposes work. So let's wait for question number two. All right, we have here our next question. How do we know what method of separating mixture should be used to separate our mixture? That was a good question. Well, the answer is, the method to be used depends on the kind or components of mixtures that we have. I know that you really enjoyed our lesson today, but we don't have enough time to answer all your questions today. But I know that your science teacher in your school will help you with this. So don't forget to attend your virtual class tomorrow. But before we end our discussion, let us be reminded with the following. We separate mixtures because they contain one or more useful substances. Or two, identify what is in the mixture. The methods of separating mixtures that we can use are the following. Decantation. Evaporation, sieving, filtration, magnetic separation, floating or flotation, picking, distillation, chromatography, and scooping. And always remember that there are various uses and importance that different methods of separating mixtures can contribute to the different industries and in our daily lives. And for our assignment, get your module in science and answer the activities on page 31. Again, answer the activities on page 31. So before we say goodbye, let me remind you that you already have the precious mixtures that will make you well. 
So you said by Rumi. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Mam Ann. Have a great day and see you again next week here in Valenzuela Live.